Today, we're going to have a cocktail that's like having a lemon wrapped around a gold brick smashing your brains. Welcome to Comment Cocktails. I'm Derek, that's Doug, that's Ian. We are going to be making a great cocktail for you. Before we do that, what you want to do is subscribe to this channel because we're going to be making great cocktails that are going to make you a great cocktail creator. You're going to get new ideas, new tastes, model a little bit of entertainment. Well, you might not get great, but you're going to get better. It, <laughs> we don't want to work in absolutes. We'll work on relative terms. Right, right. Do you, do you muddle a joke every time? Every time. Well, wow. it's only like the third episode, so I haven't grown, I've grown old to, it hasn't grown old to me yet. So you've never done it before now? No. That's, it's a decent joke. It's a 2017 it. thing. This is uh, the Pan Galactic Gargle Blaster. This is the Pan Galactic Gargle Blaster. You're right. Keeping track. All right. You're on the, the show, Ian. So this drink was first published... November 15th, 2012. <laughs> show. Welcome to the show, you there. Uh, 2012, me and Doug invented this cocktail because... Why did we invent this cocktail, Doug? Because I don't... Because everybody was asking, can you make the Pan Galactic Garble Blaster? And, and then it's we a, sat down to figure we out We had to design it. We were eating Chinese food, I think, right? And it's we such were. a great book. It's such a shit. We about how great a book this is. I love the book. Bad book. Doug loves the book. Doug so, does love the book. First off, what I need you to do... Oh, we... Uh, you should be more okay with being wrong about no. this. Yeah, you should be. I, look, I get, I I get it. I used to it since there's, I've been on the show. There's no doubt that this no. is a very popular book. No doubt. The fact of the matter is I was going into it hoping it was going to be a good book, and I was like so disappointed. Executive producer, by the way, is Kieran. Uh, right there. So I just felt like so bad about it. Like I, It was so campy and just shitty-ass comedy that <laughs> it was written so poorly... I, there's so many. C.S. Lewis, so good. J.R. Tolkien, so good. Not Douglas Adams. Not good, but Douglas Adams is pretty funny, pretty entertaining. It's it's so not funny because he's trying to make it funny, and it's just UK. And that works so bad. well. Wow. Yeah. So uh, could you just do the? Here ingredients? it is. Here's the ingredient breakdown. Ready for the pan galactic gargle blaster? Is Doug and I see it? One and a half ounces of moonshine. One quarter ounce of blue curacao. One and a half ounces of gin. One ounce. Uh, of Deep Betty or any type of lemon vodka, a one quarter ounce of rumble mints, two dashes of uh, bitters, sugar cube, garnish with olive. Also, I believe we need to, we want to put tonic water in here in some way. So we'll add that, I guess, at the end. Are you going to read the real instructions that I just worked off? Uh, uh, we're going to do that. So the we're, we're going to talk with a little bit of car carbonation because it's got to have carbonation. So the original instructions, as per Douglas Adams, Correct. Right? Yeah. Is to take juice from the bottle of Old Jack Spirits. So we've decided that's moonshine. Moonshine. Um, pour it into one measure of water. So what? before I continue, Ian's just literally putting all this into a mixing glass and mixing. I don't know what he's doing with a muddle. I'm trying to crush a sugar cube. There Crazy. Is. Oh, sugar cube. I didn't, I didn't make the drink up, so. <laughs> you pour in one measure of water from the seas of... Uh, you should know this. You read the book. Yeah. Sargentarius San, San, 5? Sargentarius 5. Uh, well, how, I can't read from So here. basically, um, it's Blue Cures out. So <laughs> then from there, I'll allow three cues of Architron Mega Gin to melt. So sounds like gin to me. Uh, to melt into the mixture. Must be properly iced or something else happens to it. Allow four liters. We're, we're going to experiment with that. Of Phalian Marsh Gas to bubble through. So for that, I'm just going to use some Club Q Club Club Soda to kind of give it a little bit of a, a bubbliness to it, mm -hmm. um, which isn't in the ingredient list, but I'll put it in as top as or something like that. Over the back of a silver spoon, float a measure of Qualishin Hypermint Extract with a bunch of more words that you guys can read the books for. Uh, we're going to use Rumble Mints because it's high proof mint. <laughs> it's Rumble right? Mints. It, it, it screams rubble mints. Drop in a tooth of the Algolian sun tiger. So for a tooth, what makes sense is sugar. What are you doing to me? Just, it's juniper strainer. Oh, juniper strainer. strainer. Yeah. Um, so you're going to oh. dissolve that. Juniper so you, you dissolve the sugar cube. You're good. And then, and Sprinkle Zaphor, which we're going to call bitters, bitters, and then add an olive. Add an olive. And I bought an entire bottle of cocktail olives just for this drink. <laughs> That's fantastic. Perfect. You have enough room to add a little bit of carbonation. I, I believe what? that when we, you when we did this, we were like, it? yeah, well, I believe that we uh, didn't drop the olive in. I think weird. that we just, Here. like, float it. 
No. Or do you? This. Yeah. Yeah. Garnish. Okay. Yeah. Because I don't like olives. I don't really know if that's why we did it though. We spear it that way, like a free. It's like a. Yep. Perfect. That way, if you like the olive, you can have the olive. Right. Oh, right. Perfect. So I apologize for the confusion in this recipe, but it's based on a book that didn't really make the recipe. Like, there's no measures. There's nothing. We had it's to top until the bottom touches the olive. Perfect. Because you don't want too much olive. In right. There. Right. But you need a little bit. Yeah. You got the. Oh yeah. Throw it over there. Good idea. Oh my God. There's another glass or something here. This was a chaotic recipe for some reason. Oh, sorry. I think we started this out. I started out thinking it was a shake of strain, yeah. so I didn't have all my stirring Thank equipment you. ready. You're welcome. Oh yeah, yeah, that happens. But but turns out stirring is very hard. You happy? Happy. Happy. What we so, like, Jennifer. One thing that is a little New bit happy. different without the um, we used in the original recipe we used Nouveau Lemon Sorbet. It was it was bluer, I think. This is a little bit more of a green, which is sea green, which I think actually represents better. I think it, it does. Uh, <laughs> The, the Santargian seawater looks a lot more like this than it does the... <laughs> it smells really good, though. <laughs> it, it tastes the exact same as I remember it. Is that a good thing? Uh, Let's see if Ian can do it without laughing for 40 minutes like Don did. Don did. Hmm. It That's is boozy. interesting. It's, uh... Boozy. I think, I think it needs more olive juice. It is. Oh, my God. I think all of it actually... What are alligator arms you're doing there? All right. Do it. You like you want the salt in there? Yeah. Like Here, salt. do it. Are you gonna make it a dirty pan galactic um, gargle blaster? Dirty, dirty blood gargle blaster. We made a new one. Why does it make people yeah. what? Dirty. The drink? Yeah, because Don drank it. <laughs> and now Ian drank it and he's all make it dirty. <laughs> Everybody gets a little weird on this. Yeah? does it not taste like toothpaste? Huh? Huh? No. no. <laughs> It should taste like toothpaste. I, I think it tastes just like toothpaste. It's a, it's a minty with it's, gin. It's, it's, it's a olive, gin based. It's gin toothpaste. based toothpaste. And olive brine. <laughs> well, that's new. We have. I think the olive helps a little bit. Gives a little saltiness. You got to have sea salt in your your olive brine. But it's. I mean, it's. I mean, it tastes. It, it, or it, it, it smells. It smells like. It smells really nice, actually. It's amazing how much a quarter ounce of rumble mint will carry. Carry through. It yeah. smells like the foam that I uh, project out of my mouth after I'm done brushing my teeth. <laughs> project. <laughs> Not spit. I, I like how you have to add the adjectives. Well, I hear he does have quite an eloquent uh, he annotation does. in the book. So he he's, he's obviously Do you want a question of the day? Mm-hmm. What comedy do you like? American humor or British humor? American humor, British humor. Answer below. That's where you put your comments. I like... New Zealand humor. What? You don't yeah, know? I do too. I do too. New Zealand humor? Like Lord of the Rings? <laughs> nah, we'll, we'll no. talk about it off camera. Oh. Uh, okay. Like Fly Concords. I was just going to say that. Uh, yeah. That's the only thing I can think of that would yeah. come close. Um, I am not a fan of the UK humor. You apparently are because you like this book and you have it at your bedside just in case you need a bit of comedy and for some reason that's funny to you. Don't you think that Doctor Who is funny? I do. Okay. How about uh, At least Dwarf? the Doctor's a theme. But that's... Which Faulty is weird. Towers? No, I don't know what you're talking about. Um, I've saw Firefly. Does that count? No, look. Doctor Who's funny, and I don't know why. Because it's not UK humor. That was like a brush off. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. It didn't make any sense. <laughs> the nonsensical brush off. Right. All right. No, the whole book is. This The whole thing is a nonsensical brush off. Hmm. Um, so long. Thanks for all the fish, buddy. Yeah. Oh my God. Thanks for all the fish. I, I don't know what to tell you guys. <laughs> this drink is going to give you that minty, fresh feeling. Um, just like it did last time, but it comes with that little bit of dirtiness now, mm. like a little bit of saltiness, which doesn't destroy the drink. It does hide a little bit of the mint, mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. um, so you could splash a little bit of your olive in there. Not a big, big, huge fan of olives or brine, but it's tastes fine to me. I was just thinking, is there a variant of like the, uh, there's a variant for everything. The Vesper of the Martini with a dirty martini with extra bitters or something in it? Where the saltiness of the olive and the brine would can't cancel, in, cancel no. out the bitterness of the bitter, but give you a little bit of the flavor. Nothing I know of. Like actual bitters, not just a couple dashes. Maybe you just made one. I think I'm going to. Yeah. Yeah. Can I have one of these? Thanks. You can have the whole jar, because I don't need it yeah. after this. Uh, Thanks, bud. So what you need to do now is you need to go to homecocktailmenu.com, download the CMC Banger book, which has recipes from Doug, me, Jennifer. I point at you and said me. Ian. Um, it's got Curtis in there. You it's can got be whoever Jaletha, you want to be. It's got Dan. It's not me. 
It's got eloquent speak that's funnier than Douglas Adams from, from our friend here, Douglas Peterson. <laughs> that's why he likes the book, because it's got the same name. Um, and, and, and that's... Now... <laughs> That's how I pick shit that I read. Is is his first name? Is Doug. this written by Doug? Nah, this book's gonna be crap. Who's this guy? That's exactly Brad. I hate Brad. Brad? I liked all the Bond no Bond novels. So. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. of course. Is that Doug? Ian. No, it's Ian Fleming. This doesn't count. <laughs> oh, I get it. Oh, I'm back. That's right. <laughs> Just is that written by Doug? Douglas Adams too. You're Remember, <laughs> go to AustinDrinks.com, buy all your cocktail accessories those, from us. Those were funny. <laughs> subscribe below no, no, right all. there there's a video you should watch here if you don't want to watch that video there's a playlist here which is going to be totally epic don't know what it is yet where here oh there okay right there third yeah. one down more i really hope that the camera's in the right direction otherwise i just did everything backwards but i think i'm good uh <laughs> we're teaching you how to drink